Hey guys, Olio here. So I wanted to do a very quick video on the leather saddle ground case from Apple. I'm a big fan of leather cases, so I've always been a fan of iPhone leather cases ever since Apple released them for the iPhone 5S. Um, I've had a black one for the iPhone 5S, a black one for the iPhone 6, but then I thought I'd switch it out this year and get a saddle brown for the iPhone 6S. I've had the case on my phone since release day, uh, 25th of September I think it was, um, in the UK anyway. And it's been on my phone since then. Um, it's the first case I've got with the phone. So it's around two months old now. And as you can see, after two months of use, the saddle brown has very beautifully uh, faded down. It's got that gorgeous worn leather effect on it now. You can see it's been worn right around the edges uh, where it's impacted the most against surfaces and in my pocket and stuff. You can also see where the Apple logo is has worn down quite a lot too and that's because my index finger is usually there when I'm holding the phone so you know over two months of use you can see how nicely it's worn down it's also worn down around the buttons because obviously the buttons are raised a little bit so naturally it's gonna grind against stuff in your pockets or on a desk or anything else wherever else you can put your phone it's also worn down a lot around the lip of the screen the lip is just high enough to protect the screen which is brilliant so if you lay the phone screen down, um, your screen won't be touching anything. The case is a little bit thicker than the black version. I don't know how thick the other ones are, I haven't tried them, but I did have a black case for my previous generation iPhone 6, and that felt significantly thinner than this case. Um, I, I don't mind it too much, to be honest. I don't mind the extra thickness. I feel like it gives the phone a bit more protection. On the back, um, obviously because of the thickness, it perfectly protects the iPhone camera lens, so the lens won't be touching the desk if you lay it down flat. Around the bottom of the case, there is a cutout for the headphone jack, the microphone, the lightning port, and the speaker. Overall, I'm very happy with the case. It's perfectly adequate for my purposes. Um, I don't need it to, to be too thick. I don't need it to be ultra tough like some other cases, but then I don't want it to be too thin where it won't protect against you know drops or scratches or stuff, anything like that. I've dropped it a couple of times and it's been fine. Hopefully you like this video and it gives you a good idea of what the saddle brown leather case will be like after a few months of use.